<clears throat> Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day. Here in the end times, in the paradise, we're somewhere in a secret location outside of Ocala, Florida on this gorgeous Monday morning, February 11th, 2019. So, of course, you know, this week is Valentine's week. So, uh, all of our thoughts turning to love here. It's time to share the love uh, here in the Doomosphere. So, I thought it, I have not done a Hambone Reads His Love Letters in a while. So, these are just a few of the love letters that uh, I have received and the opening bell of, of Valentine's week that I thought I would like to share with you. And, and actually, I think more of these comments were, were for Sam Mitchell than they were uh, for Hambone Littletail, surprisingly enough. And the first one, since I have banned this fucker on uh, both of my channels, I guess I don't ever remember seeing this guy on Collapse Chronicles. Uh, anyway, this guy E.P. from B.C. Uh, I have a, a an email from E.P. from B.C. because I guess his comments are not showing up on Collapse Chronicles. So the subject line says, Cocksucker! <clears throat> I have realized you have shadow banned my comments. Shadow banned my... What the fuck does that mean? There's no shadow banning about it. I banned them. Where's the fucking shadow in here? Although, as I told him, I honestly don't remember ever seeing a, a comment on Collapse Chronicles. But if EP from BC ever were to comment on... Collapse Chronicles, he would be banned. So, what's the difference? Anyway, th this whole subject of shadow banning, never been 100% sure what that means. Anyway, I have realized you have shadow banned my comments. You think you are sneaky, A. Eh? He's from Canada. You think you are sneaky, A. Eh? No. You are just a whiner who cannot take honest criticisms and are employing covert methods of censures. I am employing covert methods of censure by reserving the right as a YouTube creator to ban uh, clueless fucking morons from any of my goddamn channels that I feel like. Fuck you. I am unsubscribed as of now and will tell everybody else to do so. I wish you a long, agony, and suffering-filled life with a prolonged, painful death. Same thing for your dog. And fuck you. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we now have EP from BC wishing Sancho Panza a long... Long agony and suffering filled life with a prolonged painful death. And, th and, and this little uh, Nazi, this, this guy, eco-Nazi, this guy is a real live Nazi. So yes, anybody wishing Sancho Panza, a uh, you know, them's fighting words, you motherfucker. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, let's see, let's go over. See, that was to Collapse Chronicles. So let's actually hear the, 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 this, uh, oh, there's a couple of comments I want to go through here. Uh, this is not exactly a, a hate mail thing, but it's uh, someone commenting, and, and I got similar comments uh, about the number of dislikes. I got on all of my videos yesterday, on both channels, I got like 15 thumbs down on uh, this, this article that I read by Elizabeth West. And 15 thumbs down, 
and this is just hero fun and, and several others like this uh, great article I wonder why the dislikes are so high on this one I thought it was one of the best and my response for anybody who does not understand the thumbs down on uh, on my videos every time that I do that I reach another hundred subscribers I do a video you know asking for voluntary donations for the uh, for what I do that if you get some benefit from what I do with my life it would be nice if you could throw me a dollar bill each month and I always get uh, so the ass licking toadies come out in force and since most of these people have been banned the people giving me the thumbs down have been banned on both of my channels all these little uh, fuckers can do is thumb them down so my answer to hero font and others the dislikes on this video had nothing to do with this article. They were from ass licking toadies who did not like my evil twins video yesterday on that other channel. The morons downvoting this video never listened to the video. It has nothing to do with anything that I'm that the content of my videos. This is the ass licking toadies uh, out to destroy now Sam Mitchell's name along with uh, him on Little Tales. This other one, I got similar comments from both Peter Tremblay and Zeke Crawlin. Uh, talking about they were actually this was actually trash talking guy lane not trash talking him on little town but it still feeds out of the same thing so this is peter's comment 99 percent of all these guys have one thing in common they sell books wise folks will understand and then uh zeke's comment uh was I'm not sure what not really he's reply he's replying to Peter's I don't know what the not really means some of us find similar free sources online so that we do not contribute to profiting off of doom and my response to uh, to Zeke was no like most folks you just take whatever you can get for free it's called being a cheapskate freeloading parasite but hey you are joining the debate so I won't hold it against you amigo your dues are paid cause Zeke uh, he uh, you know he is he's a regular commenter on here so he is joining the debate which is what this channel is all about so he gets a free pass and then, of course, what I said to Peter and Zeke was, uh, please tell the folks what you do for a living and explain to us why what you do for a living is worth being paid for while what doomers and gloomers for do for a living is not work that should be financially rewarded. I am waiting for your answer, amigo. Peter had no answer. And then uh, Zeke... Uh, he is, Zeke is unemployed, I guess, so I guess he's getting some form of, uh, I don't know, I guess he's getting some form of, of government handout check, uh, paid for by the American taxpayers, either, I don't know if it's, I don't know how old you are, Zeke, I guess you're on Social Security, so, uh, so Zeke says it's one thing to keep people informed on critical issues it's another thing altogether to turn it into a money generating franchise yes a money generating franchise I'm sure Guy Lane uh, got a got his uh, big of a laugh out of that as I did 
I have generated the same amount of money on YouTube in 10 years that I used to generate every week uh, selling real estate to clueless fucking morons. Anyway, but let's come over here to my own channel. Now this guy, Bill R. Bill R. I uh, never heard from Bill before. Uh, so this was actually a comment since I do not allow comments on my fundraising videos. He just went over to the uh, comment section on this excellent story from Elizabeth West to comment on me uh, asking people to send a voluntary one dollar a month to uh, to Humpty Dumpty Tribe to support what I do and you know I told anybody who thinks that you know people who ask for volunteer are, are begging uh, can go fuck themselves I've asked them to unsubscribe from this channel if you think that me and Paul Beckwith and Darja Mail and Dmitry Orlov and Nafiz Ahmed and James Howard Kunstler and of course we all know who uh, are begging for money for suggesting that maybe what we do for a living is worth one dollar a month and this is what Bill R has to say I thought this comment was apropos before you censor it, Hambone. Hambone's vocabulary is probably lazy, but that cannot be a surprise to anyone who has been paying attention. I did not realize Bill R. had been paying such close attention. Hambone is the personification of laziness. He reads a bit of news, drives to stores, roams around in his truck, whines in a 20-minute segment what has five minutes of actual content, reads other people's comments, quote, thanks for doing my work for me, amigo, and performs interviews with people who have usually already been interviewed to death by other people. Yet, he begs for money and he will censor this comment as usual or he will read it aloud in a future video. It's better than working. Ha ha. Well, Bill R. I guess knows me because I am now reading his comment aloud and I will not read all of the responses to the comment. I do really appreciate all you folks standing up for me. My response to uh, Bill R. Uh, is it, meaning his comment, your comment is apropos of an ass-licking toady who cannot think for himself, and it is apropos for a spineless little pussy who could not last two days in my shoes before running back to his mommy whining, ditto for the 16 ass-licking toadies thumbing up this comment. Every one of you is a spineless little pussy who would not last two days in my shoes. Please go back to sticking your tongue up your guru's ass and let the doomers with brains alone. And we will leave it in that. And uh, I do want to thank the, the people who did uh, come to my defense. I did get a chuckle out of... Chris K's comment, Pauline, is that you? Of course, you know, we all know who Pauline is. Uh, Pauline is the guru's, you know, the little uh, deep pockets sugar tit who supports the uh, godfather of grifting in the Doomosphere himself. And uh, anyway, enough love letters for the day because we have a leaky roof to go check out and of course I need to come back with the we are so fucked mainstream media headline this morning and then come back to change hats and go over to Collapse Chronicles to hear about the latest news about the insect apocalypse so uh, 
get out there and enjoy it while you still can. And all you fucking ass licking toadies, just just go away. I thought that uh, Kevin Hester had gotten rid of you. I thought that little ass licking toady Kevin Hester had finally gotten through to you, but I guess you're back like a uh, like a swarm of cockroaches. Anyway, enough of the ass licking toadies. We got doomsday to talk about and leaky roofs to tend to. Bye, guys.